Oh, okay, it's recording. Yeah. What episode is this? We don't care, right? I, I don't know. We had a couple canceled because they were controversial. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Raj Show. Uh, it's hey, been a long time. Hey. Yeah, what's up? It's Raj and such and show. I said that already. I said Raj and S- didn't I say Raj and Sachin? No, you said welcome to the Raj. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Raj and uh, show. And uh, we got you know a big one lined up. You're doing it again. I got a big one lined up for you, bro. You're doing it again. It's the I Raj. I said Raj and <laughs> thing show. The no, Sachin I, show. I need you to slow down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Raj and Touch and Show. Let's there get started okay. today. Let's get started. All right. All right. What's up, man? Uh, you got a different look, so you want to explain everything, what's been going on in your life? Because definitely... You no, know, I, I just haven't trimmed my beard in a minute. Yeah, well, so it looks like, looks like uh, uh, stage two came out and you you hit the freaking pinky beauty collar, bro. That's what it looks bro, like. Oh, you have to. You have to. You won't understand. You don't uh, understand. It, it was, it's bad out there, man. Like, like people looking ridiculous. Like, up in Brampton look ridiculous anyways, but yeah. people were looking extra ridiculous. I was going into beauty salon to see who could do a dadi, and there was hairs on the floor that looked like they're from the Jurassic time period. And I'm like, Pinky, what is this? And she's like, this is eyebrows. This is up ladies coming to get their eyebrows cut. They were using lawn clippers. To do eyebrows, bro. <laughs> oh my god! No, honestly, I was gonna give you a, a major shout out because it, it looks as good as Pinky's. Um, but uh, the other thing I was gonna say, Pinky, no, to see a tip of it, did you give her a big tip? Oh, the both of this youth tip there, Pinky is also known as the the Malton mattress. <laughs> yes, she is. Speaking of Malton. I, I guess if you're having a mental breakdown, don't call people police. Oh, my God. That video was nuts, dude. Bro, nuts. It, 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 you know what the funny part is? I, well, there is no funny part in any of that, yeah. first of all. Yeah. But the, the weird part about the whole story is when they said, you know what? When someone's having a mental breakdown, um, they're now going to send, uh, uh, like, uh, the firefighters and... and paramedics first because they're more equipped to deal with it rather than send the police first and i'm like so that wasn't a thing already yeah but look why yeah why does it the, there has to be a protest for for that to like take place you just go in and you just shoot and you just neutralize the situation but now there's a protest it's like oh no no we have a better idea we're yeah. gonna send the paramedics in yeah. and we're gonna send the fire department in yeah, like let, let let's do the most logical thing after somebody gets shot. Yeah, after yeah, after we shoot this person, and now yeah. like I don't know on Twitter, I always see, uh, oh, there's a situation in, in in let's just say it's Brampton where you know there's a person in distress. Like now they're like highlighting it. Oh, person distress, uh, you know, and now we're following the rules. You know yeah. what I mean? Like now we're now we're taking care of things. It's and like, it's where the fuck that, have you been all these years before this shame, was highlighted? It's a shame that four uh, officers trained using our taxpayers' money and time felt so threatened by a 62-year-old man with a knife, they had to kill him. Yeah. Like, not, not one shot to his hand or his arm where the knife is just to neutralize him. No, they had to fill them full of bullets and then apparently according to the family they walked out of there and as they were coming down some of the officers were laughing that is so fucked up i know so and, they yeah. and they're like sorry i heard yeah. one of them was like no, sorry what do you mean yeah. sorry you went in there and just yeah. killed this person it's like yeah. they have a license to kill yeah like sorry like what did you open your car door and ding the other guy's door in a parking yeah. lot like you took somebody's <laughs> life because they have a medical condition they're, we're, we're, they're ill-prepared. The police are ill-prepared to deal with this. Um, we militarize the police force. They're taught to shoot and kill. They're, they're taught military tactics. They're taught violence in their mm-hmm. training school. 
And then when we put them out there, we expect them to use judgment and not use violence. That's what I'm saying. And a lot of them are cowboys, dude. Like, you know, at one time I told you I wanted to be, you know, on the force. But yeah, it's just, it's a lot of, it's like, they're just, they just, they have a fucking gun and it's cowboy and it's like, shoot to kill. And that that's it. Even like, uh, what was that female that, uh, the apartment building where she bar- barricaded herself in, yeah. in her, what was it? On the outside, around the, on the... The yeah, they're saying the cops pushed her off. Or yeah, like, it, you know, you know, after hearing stories like this, you know that they came in there, you know, and they probably used force. They didn't try to save her. They probably pushed her or, like, didn't help her. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I've been a person in fucking distress at one time in my life, probably, and I know that the cops called um, the police, you know, came to my residence one time. My brother and I were having a fight. And, uh, yeah, yeah, this was, uh, it got that bad. dude, I remember like, I'm not, I'm just saying that like, we, we got into it so bad at one time that there was like a carbon pulled out and Who won? nobody won because nothing really, nothing happened, but it was just like, my parents couldn't handle the situation between us. Cause we got, yeah, the carbon. I don't know. Oh, I guess Darshan just wrote that down, but yeah, yeah, it happened, man. And, uh, I remember, like, when the cops came in, because I was in the field, I'm like, what's your badge number? Right away, they walked in, I'm like, what's your badge number? And then they were, like, shocked. Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was like, what's your badge number? What's your name? What's this? What's that? I was asking these questions, like, right away. Let me ask you this, though. Yeah. Right now, you and your brother, one-on-one, who wins? No karpadma, no weapon. That's tough because he has way better car- cardio. Yeah, he has cardio. I'm not going to say he has better cardio. <laughs> he has cardio. What it would be like, I'm not sure. It'd be like uh, power against speed. Okay, like so that. here's the thing, right? Yeah. It's, it's, we're bored, man. There's a lockdown. We ain't seen sports in a minute. Yeah. So if the crowdfunding, if our listeners want to see this fight, we'll have it on Patreon at $10. A pop, and it's Raj and his brother. Nah, yeah, no, no carpons, no nothing. But you're no, telling no, me you no never one. got into. See, the thing is, um, you have sisters, right? So I don't know if anything ever got so bad like in your um, in in your family no. before. But bro, no, I never fought my sisters. Sometimes brothers, they just they fucking they go at it, man. They go at it. So you know why I never fought my sisters? Because you didn't want to get beat up by I was well, yeah. a girl? <laughs> I don't want to, yeah. That's one reason. Number two, yeah. I don't have a vagina, so I'm not going to fight females. That's but, right. But even my, like me and my cousins that are dudes and stuff, I don't think, I'm trying to think, no. Like we joked around and like wrestling and stuff like that. But it's but different with ever- cousins, right? Like the thing is when it's brothers, it's kind of like, that's like, like that's my property. <laughs> Even though it's not, you know, like we're so tight that we beat the shit of each other. And, and then regardless, we're brothers forever. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't well, know. I get it. it. Like if, if it's, I get uh, it. we're from the same parents. So like if we fought, if I fought my cousin, then, you know, my Masi or Chachi or whatever, they're going to be like, bah, like you did this to my son. Da, da, da. If it's us just going at it, it's like. It's fair game. You know what I mean? Yeah, then you'd have to beat up your Masi after talking shit. That's right. You cut them off or something, right? So, Bro, it, it, it's a weird world right now. 2020, anyone can get it. Anyone no, can get it. no what I was talking today to even Darshan. Like, you know, with, with everything that happened with Floyd, and now, you know, there's ra- racism just coming out in general. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, the monuments that are coming down all over the place and – um, yeah. yeah, it's it's crazy, man. It's just uh, I don't know. I was talking to Darshan. And I'm like, I don't even know why some of these were even exist. Like these monuments exist, and then well, that, he- that's the thing, right? Yeah. I think I think culture in in terms of society right now, it's it's a great awakening, right? Because yeah. people would have these monuments not not even question them or not even know who the person was. Now, having said that, we're, we're were some of the people all right dudes? Probably. At the time, there was stuff that was going on that was questionable. Yeah. Um, and they were part of it. But the thing is, right now, with the awakening, society has has said that we don't support this. We don't stand for this. Mm-hmm. And going forward, we're not going to stand for this, which is a good thing, right? It was a, It's yeah. a bit of an awakening. 
is something that you need um, a bit of a, a bit of a reset, I'd say, on society. But it, it, it's gonna happen eventually. Like the old guard. I don't want to use that word old guard because that makes it sound like I'm trying to turn this racial, but the old thinking and the old way of thinking just isn't conducive to the way people think nowadays. Yeah. Or more open, accepting. And, and some of those symbols of that time period aren't going to stick around. They're not. And it's just, it, it so happens that it took all this stuff and tragedy to get this people to focus on it. And people had time, man. People were at home. Yeah, well, I think it was the, I'm not going to say it was the perfect time for this to happen. I'm not going to say that, but you know how everything just aligned when it came to yeah. the protests and whatnot. Uh, yeah. This had this had to happen. It, it, this is a correction. You yeah, know what I mean? it's, a, it's yeah. society finally saying that we want our symbols and everything to reflect the values of yeah. society now. Yeah. We don't yeah. want our symbols and our street names and our statues to reflect the value of society even a hundred years ago. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like why are there, why are there only names that represent like, you know, like white, white people? Like, why is that? Uh, why isn't there a statue of Jagmeet Singh? Why isn't there a statue of, uh, I don't know, whoever the famous Indian wrestler is. <laughs> yeah. Why is Jagmeet Singh picked up? Tiger Z, Tiger Z. Tiger Jeet Singh. Well, well uh, eight facts, man. But hey, why did Meet Singh kicked out of Parliament for stating the obvious? And then yeah, I mean, a- those guys are racist, you know, and everybody knows this racist. And what Jagmeet Singh thing, what he did was Jagmeet Singh, he stood up. And, yeah. you know, and, you know, it may have hurt him. But at the end, when he's like, I'm not going to apologize, that spoke volumes to, like, what he really believes in. And it's not just bullshit politics. It's, like, how he truly feels. And I think he got a lot of support from, 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 from people, like, people that don't follow politics. People don't know about the political parties and whatnot. There's, like, I don't know who this guy is, but he's sticking up. So, you know, I got yeah, – he, he should not cry. Who? To me. You know, and you know what? It's a very uh, – Nah, 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 nah. You end up looking it's a very big. sentimental thing, man. When it comes to uh, things like that, this nah, guy nah, he's he, probably gone he, through so much racism with like even wearing the turban in his life. And, you know, <laughs> he he he's probably gone through so much, you know, so too much in his life. And no, so, I know, but but he shouldn't. Don't don't I, let them see you emotional, kid. No, no, bro. Like some people, just like you can't say help it, man. Like you just can't. Like I don't know. That's how I am. Nah, but I, yeah. that's one of your things. You would do that. You're bitch made too. It's not bitch made. It's just like there's so much like anger there. You know what nah, I mean? It's I'm just a, that bitch made. You know, it, once if I get mad like that, I cry. I'll be honest with you, I do. It's just fuck. Where, 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 where do you cry, cry though? Where do I cry? Yeah. Sometimes I cry like right like when this shit's happening. Like if I I even like do it when I get into right after I get into a fight with somebody. It could be a cousin. It could be whatever. Uh, it's just I'm more emotional. Say bitch, but at the same time. I think it takes more power and more, you know, to have an ego where you don't give a fuck what anybody thinks, so that you cry. Would uh, you do that at a press conference after oh. fighting your cousin? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like uh, when somebody wins a, like a Super Bowl, right now those people cry. They cry either victory wise, whatever. It doesn't matter, man. You cry, you cry. Like some people have that emotion. Some people have it built in. Like I, I think it's okay, man. I thought before I used to think like that where. Don't cry. Don't do this. Be a man. Don't walk in like blah, 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 blah. But I don't know, man. Sometimes what, it would help me when I was in a fight. I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay. I'll, 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 yeah, because the other guy didn't want to hit you because you were crying. No. It's like my mom would my mom would, my mom mom would, would stop when I started crying. So I think it's just <laughs> No, no. Okay, look. Look, I, here's the thing. I think you're right. Right? Like, like when we talk about this as a whole scenario and everything, I think you're right. I think there's nothing wrong with that. But I can admit I'm wrong for having the thought that I have and still say it's bitch me. Yeah. And still say I'm wrong for thinking that. Yeah. 
Now you right? just now I got emotions in me, bro. You fucking you you breaking emotions out of me, man. Like uh, okay, okay, okay. Let, 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 let's switch the topic here and talk about what's really on everyone's mind and brand. Here, here. So can I? I'm just gonna. So you know how we were talking about the monuments and we were just talking about. Uh, like even the Confederate flag, I was talking to Darjan today and I go, my first, and I think I said this before, my, like when I saw the Confederate flag for the first time, I always associated with something good, which was an orange car, which was an orange car. And I go, I I was probably 12 or 13 years old when I watched Jerry Springer and I saw that there's a bunch of these white people that were in hoods and yeah. they had a Confederate flag. And I'm like, what are they doing with the Dukes of Hazard flag? Like, yeah. does one of them have a car? Like, does the Dukes of Hazard car? Is that favorite show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but then later on, I, I figured out. So, yeah, with this whole, like, Robert, what was it? Robert Lee, right? General like, Lee. I, heard, I don't General know. Sure. Robert Lee, whatever he was. I heard he was a really, really bad guy. But we were also talking about today how I came out with the voice actors now that are resigning. Like, um, the voice of... I think it's yeah. Cleveland. He's a white guy. Yeah, Cleveland, and, uh, Apu. I, I think that's getting carried away. Like with that Abu guy, I know that guy does like 30 voices. You know what I mean? So now here, here's my thing. If there's a Indian guy doing a white person's voice in a cartoon, should he have to resign? Yeah, I don't think they resigned. I think they did it themselves. Yeah, I don't. I I don't know. I don't. I, it's like, it's like, okay. This is the thing. This is the thing. Liberals always say shit like yeah. false equivalency and and this and that. No, it, it's the same thing, bro. Oh, it's so like this. I was telling Darshan. What about a girl? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Let me talk. What you're trying to say is me as a brown man, I can voice. It's not the same thing. A character for a white person, but if somebody else voices a character for a brown person, it's wrong. I, I agree with you. I, I agree that they have more opportunities, but then that's on us to create more opportunities for them. No, no. And I, then think, I know there's glass ceilings and there's this and that and there's this and that. Yeah. But I'm trying to say that how accommodating do you want to be? So, like, is it a cut from now on in if there's a brown character or a black character and a white guy's voicing him in cartoons? Is that a cut from now on in? Okay, here, let me ask you this question, Sachin. How many brown characters actors play brown characters that you know of can you name one or two what do you mean like how many voice actors that are brown that play brown people there aren't many brown characters play. Already, i think that's I, a little but, bit of a problem i think that's a problem perhaps but the thing is once again then you have to get into a position or up when i have to get into a position where they can create more brown characters the only way that's they can do us. that why should we expect the white people to do it for us I don't, I, I, I don't agree 100% because what I think what Darshan's saying is that they've never even made us part of the conversation. And I'm not saying for everybody. I'm just saying that why would you get a brown guy? If okay, so look what, look what happens. Well, okay, look what happens when they do get the chance and you end up having shows like Lily Singh. But Lily Singh, like, is... is she she broke through herself, man. That's why, like, what I'm saying is, you got to give her respect because she yeah, went through the channels of YouTube. She didn't. She wasn't like casted uh, on, on a show. She wasn't and like then, an actor, and then she made it. She did the work herself. She went on YouTube. She got her followers herself. She built her empire, and then she already had the empire. And then the companies were like, "Whoa, she has that many vill- millions of like followers." We need to, they're thinking green now, right? They're thinking mm-hmm. about the bottom line. So mm-hmm. then they're like, oh, yeah, let's bring her in where she's already made herself. She's just okay. going to make grow, grow our organization. No, I agree. And now Darshan wrote down a bunch of things, too, which I agree with. There's Mindy Kalang, there's Hassan Manaj. Yeah. It's me was a Indian show. But yeah. what I'm trying to say is how many of those people afterwards bought some more up and on? So that's yeah, like Mindy think. Callen like, has us, done a lot of work. It's on us when we break through to yeah. start bringing other talented people that Agreed. are behind with us to yeah. create this movement. But Apne don't do that. Is what I'm no, I say. think it's, it's Apne happening Apne break now. Through, Apne break through and be like, yo, fuck that guy. I ain't putting him on. 
No, we're talking. I think what he's talking about, like the past, like the, he's saying the gatekeepers were they just they didn't allow anybody else in. Yeah, and I know. Was, but I'm, what I'm yeah. trying to say is when you do break through, when I yeah. do break through, yeah. they don't bring anyone else with them. That's a well, common I think, theme. I think Lily brought on humble. You know what I mean? With humble, they brought on like you know that even that Sandy Gill, like they 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 really showcased her. And then with Mindy, she has this new show now. Uh, uh, I forgot what it's called. But she 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 did she did a casting call, uh, in I think in North America. She didn't just you know, and she picked somebody from I think Mississauga, Ontario. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, she yeah. She brought one person with her. She got her, and then all the other actors that are on the show that are that are Indian, and who knows who, what else uh, she did. He, he, the, the, yeah, the writing staff, and yeah, uh, but then we're making excuses for Apne. Apne don't bring Apne with him. That's the problem. And we've seen it in Bollywood too. There's clicks, right? So like with Sushant Singh Rajput, the Bollywood actor that committed suicide. You heard about that recently, right? Yeah, I heard that uh, that there's a Bollywood actor that committed suicide. Yeah, so it's because he had had a different. Uh, he had had some kind of fallout with Salman Khan and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and uh, Karan Johar, and these people started blocking him out of movies. Hmm. And then he started having a bunch of projects getting dropped and he couldn't handle it and he committed suicide. So he got bullied. Yeah. So Apne are like that. They don't like to support other Apne. They don't do it on a by and large basis. You see it in business. You see it in everything, man. Apne are the type. That's why, if you look at it, we won't make it into the Hollywood sphere. Because if, even if you look at Bollywood, when you get a bunch of Apne together, they're crabs and bucking each other left, right, and center. Bollywood right I mean Hollywood right now is doing things to make themselves look good now. I think that now like you know again it's affecting the bottom line. They're like, "Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to create a diversity that where the fuck were you guys before? Where was this before? Why did this start happening now?" Because there's a movement and now people are watching and paying attention. Like, you know what I mean? So when well, it comes yeah. to Okay, so and then and then you look okay Black cinema in, in Hollywood. What did they do in the 90s? Black cinema? Bo- yeah. uh, Boys in the Hood. Menace yeah. Society. They did themselves. And they, yeah. they, they, even in Living Color, to a certain extent, the Wayne brothers came in and bought a whole bunch of dudes with them, right? Yeah. They were doing that kind of stuff. Apne, think about it. You have two YouTubers like AK in, in, uh, in uh, Just Rain. And at that point, even they can't get along. And they haven't even made it to Hollywood yet. Yeah, but that's like saying Biggie and Tupac, right? No, bro. Too, the, it, what I'm trying to say is uh, you give Apne even a little bit of clout and they will not get along with each other. Because then it's like, I'm better than him. I think I'm Lily was just like, fuck everybody else's noise. I don't give a shit what you're doing. Because a lot of people even like, you know, they said she's not funny. I don't even know why she's there. And she said, fuck you. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. She silenced her haters. That's it. I, I I don't know. Yeah, I think she did. And look, she got season two right now on her own. How many people said she's not going to make it? She's not going to make it to season two. Uh, her show is crap. Her show is whatever. Whatever she's doing, no matter what, I think it's a, the girl's grind. She works really hard at what she does, and she doesn't stop. And I think no, – I'll, I'll give her that. I'll give her that. I'm just saying her show is not entertaining. You know and I, mean? I, like, don't, I don't see her bringing anyone else up. It's with. huge from going to YouTube to freaking having your own talk show. I mean, I don't know. I think she'll get better. But I mean, um, it's you a learning. That's what I'm trying to say. She shouldn't have to get better. To have a national late night talk show, it yeah. damages up on it when your talk show is shit. Because the next up on it that's somewhat funny, that tries to get into that arena, people are going to be like, ah, no, Lily did it and she sucked. I think Lily is finding herself right now, like meaning like she's figuring out the, 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 the like you know what works and what doesn't work. Like even like was it Ka- was it Conan and Brian? Conan and Brian, right? Yeah. Like even Conan. in the beginning, that guy was suffering. That guy wasn't doing well in the first season or second season. David Letterman had to come on his show to like sign off and say, "Hey, man, like watch this guy." You know, it takes time, uh, dude. It takes time. I, I mean, those guys are generally like, funny. Darshan just wrote down that that's a problem with the system. And yeah, you're right. There's a problem with the system. But the thing is, Apne are, are making no attempt at changing it either. Who's that, who's that poet girl? That, there's a, that poet girl. I forgot her name. What's her name? Rupi? 
Yeah, Rupi Kaur. I think uh, Lily also like brought her. Like you know what I mean? Like uh, brought her highlights, her highlights her as well. Like you know what I mean? And, I don't think Rupi needs highlighting. She she's talented at what she does, but I'm I'm saying that there there is like a a friendship or a bond or companion. You know what I mean? Yeah, like they're in her own group. Yeah, but you know what? Right? I, like, I, like I, this is what I'm trying to say. I put in politics too much. Is yeah. exactly what I was trying to say, Bollywood, right? Yeah. It's because you'll have Lily, and because she's cool with a certain group, she probably won't want to put on AK, even though AK is probably one of the funniest up and one of the most talented up You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's really weird the way uh, they'll do it. So, like, you'll have, like, and you guys saw it yourselves, you'll have, like, Just Rain's got his click, and if they are with him, they can't work with this guy. So what I'm saying is even on these low levels, up will click out, and then stop talking to each other if they work with the other person. That's why we can't get up to any level that's considered remotely high. Well, these guys need to grow up, right? Those guys were very young, like YouTubers that were just like, you know, like he was very business. Like, you know, like Just Rain was all about business. And I think AK was about like real like comedy content. They both were. But I think that they were so alike, they just started a beef. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it's over. I don't know any of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, you're right. These people need to work together and need to, like, you know, create a, like, I don't know, a foundation. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. start, like, a movement where it's, like, you know, make room for other people and motivate other people to come on and, and be funny and do stuff like that. It doesn't have to be only two guys on there or three people on there that are making noise in the South Asian community. It should be more. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, AK and Darshan's right. AK puts a lot of people on. He does. There's a lot no. of people where the first time I seen them was an AK video. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, where are some of them? A lot of people didn't know, like, DC Comedy, and AK was a fan of DC Comedy, and he was like, yo, I want you guys to be in our videos. I want to I wanna work with you guys. And, 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 you know and, what else you know, it is, too, Raj? Yeah. A lot of people still don't know DC Comedy. Yeah, they don't. Like, they're like, hi, um, okay. But you know what it is? We either have, like, the hardcore fans, the people that know, the people that listen to it, uh, the people that grew up with it at that time, because we weren't mainstream. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have all these channels. We we found out that people were listening to the stuff after we were married. You know what I mean? We we didn't know we were popular, or 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 um, like there was people that were you know there there was a movement. This a lot of this underground people. You know what I mean? That that were like we go to weddings now, and they're like they start coming up to me and doing voices. And I'm like, what the fuck? How do you know that? That's from like 20 years ago. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you, Raj. Yeah. Uh, and, and I was going to mention this before too. I was getting into it. But something that's really, you're a Brampton resident. I'm a Brampton resident. So something that's really been on the mind of Brampton residents is the driving in Brampton. You know what? And I've been hearing that too. A lot of people saying that, but like, for example, you know, that video that's been going on, like going out right now with that, uh, I think it's a red vehicle that flipped over a couple of times. That guy is from Wasaga beach area. No, he ain't. I know he ain't. So I told, okay, so check this out. So it says he's from Wasaga beach, but I guarantee you it's just a scam. His address is there, right? Cheap insurance. And if you're doing that scam for cheap insurance, you know what insurance companies are doing now? Is when you file the claim, they can, depending on what kind of car you have, they can pretty much check and see where the car is the majority of the time. They can subpoena your cell phone records and see where your cell phone has been pinging for the majority of time. And if you ain't in Wasega Beach and you're in Brampton for the last two years, they could deny your insurance claim. Well, I'm just like, who the fuck is in Wasaga Beach that is in Brampton? <laughs> it's so who hot and cold. From Wasaga Beach to Brampton. Yeah, it's so hot and cold. It's just like... And I know dudes that have addresses from Windsor to get cheap insurance and everything, but I'm telling yeah. you, man, I have heard recently that insurance companies are starting to do that. Yeah, but what the fuck was yeah. up with that guy? Was he impaired? No, he no, was, no, was driving like a bunch of that was up by your gates. Yeah, right, not too far away from me. Like that's yeah, just. I used to live right there too, at Williams yeah. and. Uh, uh, Ashton that's Field. just that's just that's just that's just fucking crazy. My my wife saw that. We were like, there could have been kids playing on that road. There was a car that just passed, as you know what I mean, as he came. 
Like I don't. I, I've been in that area, that yeah. road, even that Williams on that stretch. You yeah. can't drive one fifty, man. That road's not designed for that. Man. So, Sachin, what do you do? What do you What do you, what want, do, you do with these youths that are out of out of line? They're smashing into like other people. They're doing, and it's not. I'm not going to say it's just a Brampton problem because even that idiot that killed like a mother and three, uh, three yeah. young kids. That piece of shit was from – where the hell was he from? Wasn't he Cal- from uh, – Cal- yeah, it was Calvin. So I don't I, think it's a – I don't know what to do. I don't I, – like, honestly, I don't have the answers. The bottom line is oh, I had a license when I was young. We got our licenses at 16 back in those days. Yeah. And, and I got into a major accident shortly after. I used to drive like an idiot um, until I hit probably my early to mid-20s and then you calm down a little bit. Yeah, but did you did you fall asleep in your car and then have different plates that didn't match your car and then could repeatedly get arrested for, uh, you know? But that guy's just a, another idiot. He should go to jail for a long, long time. I'm yeah. talking about like the kid that was doing one fifth. That was just because he was stupid, right? He was going, he was going yeah, really, man. really fast. And think about kids these days have access to these. Like you're driving a, a Beamer, right? Yeah. Um, when I was young. Kids were driving like 140, 160 horsepower Civics that even if you went pedal to metal on it, it wouldn't go 150. You know what I'm trying to say? The, yeah. the access to vehicles that the kids have nowadays, and that's what I would probably say. And, and As a parent, you should not, your teenage kids should not be driving these cars that are essentially rockets. Yeah, and it's a weapon, right, that they're in. And when you're young and you're like 18 or 19 years old and you're in these cars and then you're with your friends, you're yeah. fucking egged on to go fast. So, yeah, go fast. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, as a, as a parent, man, you should be getting buying your kids base model Civics or like, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Smart cars or so, something that even if they jumped on that gas pedal, it's not really doing nothing to nobody. Like, I, I'm not any better. Like, I almost got, I got into a really bad accident when I was younger. And I, you know, the, the passenger, you know, could have died really easily. Like, uh, you know, I snuck my parents, I snuck my parents' car out at night. It was like, you know, a joyride. Uh, went to go pick up my friend and just went cruising. And was in Heartland. Went really, really, really fast in the parking lot. Went over a curve. The car went up. Like, it flew in the air. Came down. Um. Yeah, it was it was a really bad accident. Who's the passenger? Some guy that that you know. Um, we don't talk anymore. Yeah, I was about to say. I wouldn't talk to you either. But, but what I'm saying, he was fine. Both of us were fine. I mean, like when I mean, like it went over the, it went off the curve. We landed. I, yeah, I got in a lot of trouble. But you know what I mean. Uh, well, but you know what? I, I think parents should know. Parents should know better, man. You should. Yeah. You should your kids, uh, you know, at that age when they're going to do stupid stuff, shouldn't have access to BMW. I agree. I like, agree. Let's, I think it let's be not get it twisted. This kid's not going out there financing his own BMW. His mom or dad either co-signed for it. They're mm-hmm. paying the insurance. Mm-hmm. Uh, he might be knocking out the car and not working part time. But yeah. he, there's no need. He does not need that vehicle. He, you know what? I think that when these kids get their license, that they should... They should watch, like, be in the classroom where they actually see videos of people dying. You know what I mean? Where they have to pull out freaking these dead people from vehicles because because of stupidity, like dangerous driving, said, stunt driving. Those people pulling out and then. No, no, no. That's a different kind of that's okay. a different kind of scenario. Okay. But do you know what I'm saying? You you when you see I think these they things, do though, man. Yeah. Don't they? I, I don't know. They... I don't know. I don't know. I, I, that's another one of those things where, like, like, oh, well, let's send a paramedic to to mental distress call. So will you say this to me, and I'm thinking, well, doesn't this already happen? And if it doesn't happen, then there's something wrong with the system. Man. I think if something happens where you're, what is it now? It's stunt driving, right? Like stunt driving is when you go over it's 50 dangerous. kilometers an hour. Yeah, he. But right? this guy got dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I was an I was an idiot driver too. I learned later on, and now I drive with eco mode, and it helps me. That's it. Want yeah. some with eco mode? Well, that's another thing. If the kids are paying paying their own gas, then they, maybe they won't punch it so much because they'll know that the next next. <laughs> that, it, here's the thing: it's keeping up with the not the Joneses. I'd say the Sangs, right? Because 
ਆਪਣੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਫਲਾਨੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਿਆਣੇ ਨੂੰ ਬੀਮਰ ਖਰੀਦ ਲਈ ਓਕੇ ਦੈਨ ਆਈ ਗਾਟ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਵਨ ਟਰੂ ਔਰ ਆਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਗੋਨ ਲਾਫ ਆ ਮਾਈ ਸਨ ਕਿ ਹੀ ਗਾਟ ਅ ਓਲਡ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਿੰਗ ਸਿਵਿਕ ਔਰ ਵਟਐਵਰ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਰਾਈਟ ਵੀ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਪ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਮੈਨ ਬਾਈ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਰਜ ਕਾਰਸ ਆਰ bad 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 Dude, I, when i come home from work i'm at a fucking red light and these guys are acting like it's a formula 1 race to fucking go to their house it's like boom, on one lane to the next lane to the next lane to here yeah. i'm like yo dude i'm D- cruising listen to my hindi music or whatever i'm listening to i'm hindi, just chilling, bro? Bro. i'm just hey. chilling i'm trying to enjoy the drive i don't give a fuck if you get your toyota corolla go into one lane go faster go into another lane slow down a little bit and like motherfucker right off is that you got people self snitching the guy with the chrysler 300 with the license plate subedar subedar nu kachari cho khich ke la jana hun bro yo that guy's the stupidest thing i've ever seen where these guys get out of their vehicle they they fucking what's the, what do they do with that <laughs> burnout like, what the fuck is wrong with Then, you okay if you're going to tape the burnout tape the burnout You want to throw on social media? Throw on social media. Blur your plates, man. This guy got custom plates that say Subedar. And they put, <laughs> they put it up on the internet. 21-year-old from Mississauga arrested. And at 21, he ain't a Subedar. I don't know who he's kidding. And if he was a real Subedar, he wouldn't get arrested. Let he, me ask you, doesn't that ruin your tires? Subedar. That guy, that, like, those tires were fucking... He just didn't he damage his tires by doing that? Well, yeah, some up a good deal. And the road, hey, bro. And the road. You got the gear stunt there, Haggy? This is not your bend, bro. This is not your bend. I'll go buy two made in China tires for $100 each. Throw them on the back. Yeah, man. That's what's going on with the world right now. We got stupid fucking drivers, you know what I mean, all over the place. Mm-hmm. And giving fucking cities like Brampton a bad name. You got well, so racism. You don't need to give a city like a Brampton band. We already have a bad name. They're just contributing a little bit to it. Yeah. And then you got fucking what do they call them Karens now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I heard about I heard this that's story a that term. I, I heard I heard this uh this grandmother uh called her daughter and said I want to change my her name's Karen but she wants to change her name. Yeah. But but see the thing is that terms can get overused man people people are going to be scared to complain oh people are sensitive i was talking to darshan about somebody and i was giving a description and i was like yeah man she got he has glasses and you know light skin and he's like light skin light skin and i'm like yo i'm just saying like this is you oh, know yeah. this is the description i was in any well, like liberals get the liberal liberal sorry get their <laughs> feathers ruffled up quick. Hey, are you calling darshan a liberal of course he's a liberal he's he's not even a liberal they're socialists these people what what their feathers <laughs> they can say whatever they want and they're right and then yeah. if you have an opposing viewpoint you're the devil Let me ask you a question. You know, how yes, for, hold on. Uh, for a group of people that's supposed to be abs- accepting of everyone, they're not very accepting. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Uh, again, I think if your viewpoint is the same as theirs. Yeah. I just want to say, you know, it was Canada Day yesterday, so again, like happy Canada Day to everybody. Best But country in the world, baby. People, there was a bunch of people that were like, I'm protesting Canada Day. And I'm like, you right. know what? I get it. You know everything that's going on. I get, you know, it's not the in no country is perfect, but if you want to choose a country to live where there's diversity, equal rights, healthcare, you're safe, Canada is the number one country in the world. Okay, so who told you cuz cuz yeah, Dashin Rod last year in junior or in Indian- You know what I'm saying? But you but know? here's 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 my thing, right? No one's perfect. To me, this is the best country in the world. in the world. You want to protest Canada Day? Yeah. Then you can go back to go to America. Go to America and protest yeah. over there. Okay? No, and then I'm back here. If if Canada is bad, bad enough for you to want to protest Canada Day, and these same people protesting Canada Day will support like India Independence Day yeah. or anything else, then go back to your own country and fix that. Yeah. And I'm not saying Canada is I can I just figured out right oh, now perfect. that it says my name says Roman Rakar which is Oh my god. Anyway. I saw that at the beginning bro but I I I didn't point it out. Anyways. Um yeah. Look, at the end of the day, we're not perfect and we're not we're not saying that we are. There was a lot of injustices hap- that that occurred, especially with, you know, indigenous 
but you know what? We need to fix it. But again, compared to everybody else, we're one, one of the, the best countries out there. The, straight up, bar none. Yeah. Show me someone better. Yeah, exactly. Like who's better that than doesn't Canada? Have a, Show- that doesn't have a history of, of all kinds of nonsense because every country does. But yeah. show me someone better in today's day and age that's trying to sort through it and fix it. Yeah. Who's better? Can anybody name a country that's better than us? I don't know. I'm waiting. There's I'm waiting. a reason. What? Fuck Singapore. Singapore. Fuck Singapore. Fuck yeah, yeah, Singapore is Singapore, so good. Two got me spit on the screen. They, 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 they put you in prison. They put yeah, you in prison. Go move to Singapore. Or what is Germany. the other thing that yeah. they do? Did he just, hold on. Did he just write Germany? You want to go into Germany? This guy, this guy, yo, 70 something years you ago, if you were in Germany, the when you were in Germany, buddy, it does, yeah. East Germany, West Germany, whatever, even like in the 80s, in the 80s, when there was East Germany and West Germany, I think, early I think 80s, the 80s, even yeah. today, the right wing racist groups are in yeah. Germany. This so guy's no perfect country. This yeah. guy just wrote Singapore yeah. and Germany. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what's crazy? Germany, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Germany. Didn't they just have the Holocaust? And then he says Nazi Germany. Okay, okay. Yeah, Same, Nazi. It's but the yo, country that we're talking about. That, and exactly what we said, every country's got a lot of bullshit in their history. Yeah, and this guy said Nazi Germany, but in the 80s, there was no Nazi Germany. There was, you know, East Germany, West Germany. East Germany was with, you know, Russia controlled. West Germany by the Americans. It was still fucked up. You had the Stasi oh, police. You had that. people... Yeah, you couldn't even leave the country. You were trapped in your own country. I have cousins that live in Germany right now, and they told me there's certain areas that you do not want to go to at night because they will beat the fuck. Exactly. And you know what? There's these people that go on vacation to, like, certain countries, and then they think that they're the experts of that country. Listen, if you're a tourist and you go to, like, Singapore, it's going to be beautiful. And then, you know? and Yeah, there's no piss. Yeah. You know, Darshan's saying that, yeah, there's a lot of right-wing extremists in Canada. Yes, online. I've gone to yeah. small towns in Canada and no one even once has tried to beat me up. And I'm talking about small towns like way up north near Thunder Bay, near near places like that. No one's tried to beat me up. Yeah. But my cousins but, in Germany will tell you there's legit pubs and places that you go to, they will whoop your fucking ass and kick your ass out. And majority of the people in Canada are good people. You're going to have bad apples everywhere that you go. And there's going to be people that think a certain way. You might at dog, the end of the day... You hear that? I don't know what I heard there. I don't know if it was a dog or whoever was there. But at the end of the day, dude, if you got something bad to say about Canada, get the fuck out of Canada and go to Sydney. Straight up. You know what straight I'm saying? Up. If Singapore is such a great country, live in Singapore. Move to Singapore. If, if, if Germany is such a great country, move to Germany. You know? Yeah. But don't be like, don't celebrate Canada Day because whatever. We've been in lockdown for like almost four months. And we want to go out and, you know, you know in my neighborhood – Fireworks were fucking lit. People went above and beyond this about. year. And, and, and these weren't these, like, fucking uh, fireworks that are, like, you know, just one. These, these were, like, professional. These people yeah. were putting – they lit up the sky, bro. <laughs> Darshan just wrote, never settle unless you're a settler. That was actually really funny. But, yo, I Darshan, I can, Darshan can do whatever he wants with his little funny lines and his whatever, whatever, whatever. We're not no, against saying. But here's the what? thing. I, I, I get what Darshan's saying, too. I get where he's coming from, too. Just because we're one of the best doesn't mean we should just stop trying to be better. We exactly. I, get it. I agree. I get it. I agree. I agree. But I'm saying, but don't, don't tell me that. On a, a lot of areas, there's work to be done. Like, even I, I posted, like, you know, um, you know, something yesterday for Canada Day, like, Happy Canada Day, and people were like, oh, you know, you know, cancel Canada Day, and I was like, fuck off. Who I'm not going to call me. I'm not going to say, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm just going to say that um, I don't have a problem yeah, with yeah. Other countries. You know what? If yeah, you guys, I don't even if let you guys have a problem the with uh, Canada, then get off Serb. They yeah. go to, like, wherever yeah. you're going right now. Yeah. Don't forget about get that. Get off Serb. Go oh, to India. We're, we're on TV serve. The two thousand a month. Yeah, yeah. Go to India. Yeah, go get that. Where people are starving to death because of uh, quarantine and whatnot. Yeah. Hey, listen to this. I didn't even let Patake go on Diwali, but on Canada Day, ba bam, ba bam, I let him go. Ba bam. Canada Day. Canada Day. You have to let them go, bro. This is the day to celebrate that you're in a safe country 
you know, that takes care of all your medical bills, that takes care of everything for you. You know what I'm saying? The best country in the world. I just hate it when people talk like about the country. Fuck yeah, I, I think, do a lot of work. I think, I think, and you know what? Everyone that's living in a country should think this way. I think we have the best country in the world. And I agree with Darshan. We can make it better. And, and how to make it better? The, the best part about Canada is that there is an effort by the population to make it better. Yeah. There is an effort. There and are you know what? extremists. There are people that are, that are going to resist change. But there's, by and large, the big cities, the population that matters that's making the money for the country is trying to make it better. Yeah. And Jagmeet Singh? We're really happy that, you know, he stood up for the rights of our country and, and, and like, racism. And, and, you know, he got kicked out of the house or whatever he did. But you know what? Fuck yeah, Quebec. We got legal weed. I got a story about Can, that in a second. Can, hey, hold on. Canada is great, but fuck Quebec. Really? I'm wearing a Montreal Expos hat, one of my favorite cities to fuck visit. Fuck them, bro. Like, I'm saying, like, I'm talking about the whole, like, blue-collar fucking bullshit politics, the way they do things and... Fuck them. They're like, I don't know, man. Very racist, man. I've heard yeah. stories through friends, too. The fucking racist place. In the I've gone to Quebec place. City. The only t- only play time I felt a little bit weird is I went to Quebec City. That's what I mean. I don't mean I'm at Quebec store. City. I went to a convenience store to buy something. I was speaking English, and she fully acted like she didn't understand me, even yeah. though I knew, she knew exactly what I was talking yeah. about. Yeah, and I'm talking and about the Quebec, Quebec. could kick some Francais. And then I had to tell him, I'm like, just yo, get me what I need to get and I'll pay you back. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, she knew what I was talking about. I could tell by her face she knew what I was talking about, but she wouldn't acknowledge it because I wasn't speaking Francois. Francois or Bonsoir or whatever the language is called. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with it. Yeah. But <laughs> speaking of Jamie Singh, I agree with you. He's a, he's a, he's a good man. Uh, it just, you know what, Jamie? Don't don't let him see you cry, bro. Double down on those news conferences. Double down. He should have came out with some DMX playing in the background, sat down, and just doubled down and said, they racist. They all racist. Their mamas is racist. He should have doubled down. Hey, such a don't sit did you cry. Ain't no one to see you cry, bro. Did Ain't you nobody about, wants to see you cry. Did you hear about the news about uh, Epstein's girlfriend got arrested today? Yeah, Maxwell, she's going to die soon. So let me ask you a question. So now that she is arrested, apparently she was fucking hiding in the United States. I don't know if she was hiding, but she was in the United States. Was she in Boston or something? Yeah, uh, Connecticut, I think, yeah. or Virginia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. New, Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah, so she was there, and now she's arrested. So do you think that yeah. she's going to be watched very carefully because of the information that she has that can – that at the end, at the end of the day, that could take down some very powerful people. You're gonna be you watched very carefully by the same people who are gonna kill her and then say it was a suicide. Wait, hold on a second. Be- don't you think they learned from the Epstein thing? Now, aren't they gonna be like, make sure the cameras are on, make sure that you know there's you know, Rob, triple check? Yeah. Hey, you think Epstein committed suicide? Yes or no? I think he did because um, the fact that he signed everything over to his brother. Um, very quickly. No. Um, was, I, think that, I think that he was forced to do it, uh, to commit suicide. Um, I, I think that every, like the camera's not working, all that stuff, I think it's so that he can hang himself. And I think that's what happened. Um, so there was somebody on the inside working with him. Is what yeah. You're yeah. So and then, I think, it's just as easy as to say somebody on the inside killed them. Now you're already admitting to inside involvement. What I'm trying to say is with this, with this, what's her name? Jizz. Yeah, Jizz, Jizzlene? Jizz, Jizz Maxwell. Jizz, yeah, Maxwell. Um, I think that she's going to be under a lot of surveillance. I um, think that the information that she has is going to take down a lot of people, powerful people. Yeah. And I'm talking about Bill Clinton. Uh, who's that? Uh, King Ed, uh, Prince Edward, uh, Bill, Cosby. Bill Cosby is already done, and there's probably <laughs> going to be other names that are coming out. Okay, I think look, Donald Trump is part of that list too. She's dead already. Yeah. So she's uh, dead. So okay. So Maybe when? Do, dead. Okay. Let, we're, we'll say it right here. When do you think that she'll be? Okay. How long do you give her? 
How long do you give her? She she ain't around for uh, the August long weekend, baby. Okay, so August long weekend, if she's around, what are you prepared to do for our audience? I'll go kill her for a million dollars. Will you be willing to take your shirt off and show everybody so that I can get amusement out of it? Yeah, I'll do that right now for free. <laughs> I got three nipples, baby. I'll show you. All Where's the it? third nipple? Where's the third nipple? Okay, so it's good, though. And then the third one's down here. Where, the belly button or below? No, like right here. Oh, yeah. you. Oh, yeah. So you. What's the meaning? What's the meaning of that? I don't know, but Krusty the Clown and Simpsons has three nipples too. And how the fuck? How did you know that? They, they, it's, it's, it's on the show. Oh. I'm rather upset that he's being voiced by a guy that only has two nipples. I should be voicing Krusty the Clown because I have three nipples. Um, also, I think that if you're a female and you're playing a guy, what about that? Like if you're doing a voice of a, of a male and you're a female or you're a male doing a voice of a female or if you're doing a, a voice of a child. But hold on. Liberal yeah. mindset would say that a female can do the voice of a male because they don't have the same opportunities that males do. But if a male does the voice of a female, that's a problem. This will never stop, just so everybody knows. No, it won't. We can and then even, even when it gets as equal as equal can be, someone's still going to get something up their ass about something. Yeah. All I know that is that people are going to you know, po- get film of such and I talking, and they're going to say, fuck these guys. Look at all the shit that these guys were saying. And Good you know thing. what? For those, for those people... <laughs> I'll say it in front of them. And I'm pretty sure Darshan's going to lead, lead on that project. <laughs> No, I, I'm telling you, I'm waiting until they start burning steaks on my lawn. And it's not going to be the tasty steaks. It's going to be like, you know, like the wood. So, yo, we're going to do Kota of the Week. Have you picked the Kota of the Week or what? Yeah, it's that uh, Jislyn J- Maxwell. J- Jis- mm-hmm. I-, I pick her. That whore. Oh, I said whore. Yeah, I guess she is a whore. Uh, yeah. She should... Uh, she, she should should be she should be killed very slowly, very very slowly. Cruel, cool, like I, I'm talking about, like slow, slow. You know what I mean? She recruited yeah. children for the elite in the powerful and the rich in America, and as a population, we're standing by knowing that these people molested children. And some of these people are still in power, and yeah. some of these people have a lot of money, and no one did shit. Fuck all of y'all for standing by. And, I, 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 and, and, I hope, and, and I hope it gets out. I hope it gets out those fucking people that, uh, you know, did, did this. It's not just her. It's the people that actually, like, you know, were with these young girls. I think it gets out, and I, and I hope that they die slow, too. Yeah, I hope and it, all, it, all the people that sat there and watched the royal wedding and everything, you're supporting a family that's harboring a pedophile and who knows what other secrets they have. Yeah. I mean, that literally is responsible for the death of millions of people through their occupation of different lands. But you know what? It was an entertaining wedding. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, uh, and these people enslaved, you know, a a whole country, uh, India back in the days, British India and whatnot, you know, and, you know, there's monuments of them out right now. There's the queen on our fucking bill. Like, you know, so, in our currency. So in what's up with that? What's up with that? Why are we choosing, you know, this person did this? They did the same shit. They butchered and killed so yeah. many Indian people. And then yeah. when you spend your Just money. Because they're more you entertaining go, on TV. Yeah. You can, I, you can sit there and watch their wedding and be like, yeah. oh, my God, yeah. so great. She's and, a princess. And, and when you come a Canadian citizen, you know what I mean? It's the queen this and the queen that and blah, 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 blah. And then these are the people. That fucking like tortured and killed a bunch of people. I yeah. think we, you know, we should go away from the monarch, and yeah, that's personally what I think. Monarch is a butterfly. We should go away from the monarchy. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean. A short version. Of that. Thing. Yeah, a butterfly and the queen are two different things. Yeah, a butterfly is nice. The queen is a cult like my chachi. Yeah, don't talk about chachi though. Eh? Why? Because she's your family member. But is she your girlfriend now? Is that why you're getting so offended? Are you dating my chachi, Rod? I didn't even know you had a chachi. Are you my chacha now? 
If I was dating your chachi, are you my chacha? Is this, is this oh. what's happening? Is this is why you've been talking down to me all week on WhatsApp? Is it because you're my chacha? Listen, if I was your chacha, right, I would yeah. fucking make sure that I. <laughs> Yo, if you were my chacha, you'd be the one chacha that I'd call when I ran out of liquor. I'm saying, oh, chacha. <laughs> you know the one cool chacha? Like, my cool chacha is in India, right? Yeah. So, uh, hot chacha. So, Why, you did you say hot, hot chacha? Hot is the name. Oh, I thought you said hot chacha. There's <laughs> a <laughs> hot chacha. No, <clears throat> but... You would be the chacha that I'd call at like one in the morning and be like, oh, chacha, both of I'd be like, nephew, or the chalye. Chalye for- which, I am currently not drinking anymore. Maybe that's why my face looks so fresh right now. Yeah, I was going to say that your face does look much better. Oh, um, quick story. And- we were talking about legalized weed. Yeah. I went on the o- OCS website. Okay, you did a very good job by, by saying all those words together. I know, that shit was hard. <laughs> so... I, I, my problem, the way I've never really smoked weed, is is I have an issue with the high. I don't like it. I get paranoid, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And the more I was talking to people like my boss at work and, and all my friends, is like, dude, like, <clears throat> you like the relaxing effect of it. You just don't like the high. And I'm like, yeah. So then I get something that's low THC and high CBD. So I went on there. Huh? What did you get? I went on there and then I, I <clears throat> went on where? It. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I sorted it by CBD content. Yeah. And I, I bought something with like the lowest, it's like 4% and yeah. it's 15% uh, CBD. And literally I clicked buy and it was there the next day on my house. And oh, so, so you've tried it now? Oh yeah. It, and? It's absolutely terrific, man. Like, like okay. I can actually have it in, um, I get like the actual weed buzz, I'd say is like two out of 10, but the relaxation factor is like eight, nine out of 10, man. You can just lie there, watch a movie, focus. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's nice. So you're nice. saying, so, so you're doing this, uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm in a similar vote, man. Like I got high. <laughs> it scared me. It scared me so bad. So the fact that you're saying this, but the thing is, why do you need to have, my question is, dude, why do you need to have a high? Why do you need to take whatever it is to get that high? Why do you oh, need Yeah, but like, but Sachin, did you ever try not to take anything? What do you mean? Like, like, like why? Have... I feel like, you know, you're like, you know, I stopped drinking, but I still need a high. So yeah. now I weed. So you're trying to say, did I ever try to just be Sophie? Like, Grishan or Darshan. I'm just saying, when you were young, well, when did you start drinking and no, smoking and getting those healthy. highs? When did you start drinking and smoking and getting high? Um, I never smoked weed ever. Okay. Really. And what, when did you start? Like when you were like 10 years old, you weren't drinking, yeah. obviously, right? No, I was sniffing gas at that point. Okay. So when you were 10 years old, were you happy? Yeah. Uh, sniffing gas? No, just in general. Like what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to get at here is, and, I don't and I, and I, I, I'm, I'm one of those people too, but why do you need to get high in order to feel good? Because I'll tell you what, Sarya, it's my day off tomorrow. Okay, I have a yeah. vacation. I have yeah. a vacation day Saturday, I have a vacation day Sunday. Yeah. I have a vacation day today, and I went to Yorkdale with my beautiful wife, and I posted a picture on Instagram wearing the same shirt that got a lot of love. Bottom line is, if I ain't got shit to do the next day, I want to get a little fucked up. But can't you close your eyes and not think of anything and get that high? No, because every time I close my eyes, I think of you. Why do you think of me when you close your eyes when you're with your wife? Because I want to punch you in the face. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) I'm just saying, okay, let me ask you this, Raj. Are you working tomorrow? Yes. Are you working Saturday? No. What are your plans tomorrow night? That's none of your goddamn fucking business. No, you don't. Don't. Um, I didn't plan on drinking or anything like that. Um, I just, I'm just kind of yeah, come home, hang out with the kids, chill out, watch some Sopranos, 
you know, get all fucking, you know, get into that. Sopranos. Gabagool. Have a who? Gabagool. That's that word. Oh, Gabagool. Oh, <laughs> you watched it, eh? Yeah. Yo, Bro, one of my favorite for those, shows. For those people that watch Sopranos, like, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but that guy's daughter every year gets <laughs> better, yeah, better every looking. Year. Yeah. Every, don't yeah. be a Jislene Maxwell. Yeah. Wait till season four. And but, uh, 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 what's her name? Um, fuck, I forgot her name. Adrienne, Adrienne, that girl. Adrienne. Don't tell me she's the Tony's nephew's girlfriend. Correct. So <laughs> with this show, you have to make sure. Um, first, I have to make sure my mom's upstairs. I have to make sure the kids are upstairs because there's fucking naked, naked people like nonstop in this show. You know what I mean? I went from right. the Office to The Sopranos. Um, yeah. Kind of like a porn at times, but uh, have I you ever seen recommend. Sopranos before? I've never seen it. It's my first time. I'm on season four right now. And I'm You're gonna like it. it a lot. Yeah. You're gonna like it a I'm lot. I'm loving it. I love it. It's now. legit one of those shows where when it finishes, you don't know what to do. Um, I have another one, eh? Yeah. So now that we're done sac- psychoanalyzing me, I'm just saying. Sometimes I like to come on. I said, sue me. I'm not. It's not about suing you. It's just I want you to be free of any substance, anything that could get you high. I want you to start thinking yourself and getting yourself at that level you know what i'm saying just thinking that you're high thinking that like you know you're drinking a glass of water and it's fucking there's something in there that is going to give you that same at at, at that point i might as well just start doing press conferences and crying because that's some bitch ass shit i wish that, that you were here so i could punch you in the face right now i wish you'd try and you know what even though (laughs) <laughs> I, I'd come with one of these, bro. I'd come with. Uh, love that. Love, love that. Full you know, let, let me ask you a question. Who wins in a fight? Samit or Gershon? Ooh. Money on it and money on it. Hold on. Samit has power. No. Yeah. Like opening the fucking fridge? That guy record. No, 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 I'm not lying. Samit's a powerful dude. I don't I think, think so. Gershon is crafty. I have a feeling Gershon's the type that would start, like, try to talk it out with Samit and then kick him in the nuts and run. Uh, they, honestly, that's a that's an even matchup, I think. Okay, Gershon, I don't... <laughs> I don't think Gershon has the anger to fight somebody. Yeah, I know he's never taken a hit because his parents never touched him, like hit him or anything like that. He's never got slapped. So it'd be really interesting to see if he could take a punch or a slap or anything like that. I think Gershon's solid. I think but out of our whole group, no word of a lie, you think I'm joking when I say this? I think Darshan could wreck all of us. Darshan has this, like, hidden fucking vegan strength. He has this, like... Darshan has these, this, like, not only that, he's got this, like, hidden, like, he's always, like, even keel and in a good mood, but he's got this hidden anger. Yeah, he's... I've seen him cycle before. Yeah, I think he'd fuck us up. I'll give you an example. I don't know if he's going to cut me off right now because he's at the controls. <laughs> I've seen him angry two times in life. Okay, who? Two two times. One time it was after a movie. It, <laughs> it was after a movie, Van, uh, Vanilla Sky. I don't know if you ever heard of it. But yeah, um, we were all in the movie theater and all of us were like, what the fuck, this garbage. Can't believe we spent this money to watch this movie. So we're about to say this. We're like, oh, fuck, that sucks. So at, right, right when we're saying, oh, this sucks, he's like, that was amazing. And we made fun of him so much that day. As he's driving, this fucking guy started driving erratically. I was like, oh, yeah? You think it's funny? You think it's funny? He's like, started going fast. And we're like, oh, my God, is he going to kill us? I've never seen him that mad in my life, dude. Oh, he, he wanted to make, have your faces look like the Vanilla Sky guy after that. Okay? Eh? He drove, wanted to have your faces yeah. like Tom Cruise from Vanilla Sky. Let, let me tell you, he almost drove into a snowbank, okay? And at that time, his girlfriend had to plead. Who was in the car? It was his girlfriend at the time? Mm-hmm. Her brother and me. And honestly... <laughs> I was so scared. I was so scared. I've never seen him like that. But I never made fun of him in the movie theater after. <laughs> and if he's driving, you just, you never say shit about him. The other time, 
The other that, time he was DJing like a wedding, crazy. the other time he was DJing a wedding and somebody came up and said, oh, you're playing fucking blah, 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 blah. And then he just, at the end, he was just fucking throwing things like the equipment in, and back into the truck. He's like, fuck this. He's putting the equipment back on the truck and he was throwing it like crazy. 2002, yeah. Oh my God. But, but, but you know what? That's he what does have anger. You don't know guys like Darshan or I'm telling you when they when when they decide that they're gonna start smacking the shit out of people, people get smacked. If Darshan ate meat, like, if he if he was eating chicken and meat, oh, then he'd be and whatever, honestly, he would be in a documentary on Netflix and it wouldn't be a good documentary. It'd be like, oh, you know, this oh. guy kills people in their sleep. He'd be he, with Gary Sandu fighting in, in one of those leagues if he ate meat. I don't know who Gary Sandu is. Not Gary Sandu. Gary <laughs> He's Gary Sandu, a singer. Oh, speaking of which, sorry, sorry, sorry. I wanted to touch on this. I can't believe I forgot. So apparently, Sok Songera is a pervert. Who's Sik Songera? He's some uh, director of Punjabi music videos. So everyone check out the core movement on Instagram. She's exposed a lot of people, including Dilpri Dillon. So apparently, like 30 go- girls have come forward saying he tried what to. What the fuck? Yeah, he tried to mock him and do this and do that. Such a, uh, there's a lot. To get out, you're a piece of shit. There's a lot of people. I know I don't know you, and I know I probably won't see you ever. But if you do come around, I want to talk to you because you're. And you know what? I'm gonna call out some of the people that I'm not gonna call them out, but there's a lot of people that that you know go around on uh, on uh, Instagram and they DM girls. Uh, I'm talking about like um, there's some really like fucked up people out there. I'm, I, I'm being honest. Like, that directed at me. I no, no. I promise you, it's not. I, I, t- I after, <laughs> after we get offline, I can tell you, like, there's a lot of fucking like sick people out there, and yeah. I hope you get exposed um, later on in life because you know what? There's a lot of a lot of garbage out there, and another person who's garbage is Chris D'Elia. Fuck that guy too. I know who that is. Yeah, he's a fucking comedian that was like going city to city messaging underage girls. Oh yeah, I heard sex. about that. I heard about yeah. that. Fuck yeah, so fuck him too. And, and, and yo, if you want to get your video done and you want high quality in the Punjabi music industry, give a shout to my boy Rupan Bal. Okay, he ain't no perfect like this. So I get a piece of shit. So call Rupan Bal. He'll make your video and he won't try to molest the model. Yo, and and I just want in closing, I just want to say fuck you, Rupan Bal. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Not your boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm not, I'm not messing with you. But Raman Sharma. If you want to know a really good guy, a stand-up guy, Raman Sharma. That guy is solid. I love him. I just want to, you know, that guy came out with the story. Uh, you know, with the whole coronavirus and whatnot. You know, good you know, he he went through it. He put his story up there. Yeah. Um, to show that's that's what I think strength is, and I'm glad that he's doing well. Feeling better. I'm sending yep. him good vibes. Yeah. He's a good dude. And I want He's to see him. Man. Yeah. I just, and yeah. and uh, soon come on the show, we're going to have my boy, Crown and Coke. Who's that? What's that? You don't know what's up? No. And, and what about Bramley, that Bramley guy? Is he a good guy too? Bramley Road? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Darsh knows him. Okay. Um, yeah. Boy, Crown- I live off of Bramley Road, so I should know the guy. Or actually, you know what? Fuck that. He should know me. Can I ask you a question? Why do you have? Why did you call yourself Chuck Norris? Just what? Why did you pick that name? Oh, it's very simple. Okay, so uh, on Instagram, I'm at Chuck Norris, and people not Chuck Norris, Chuck, like Chuck their forte. And the reason why is I used to play ball hockey. This going back four or five years ago, with a bunch of there were firefighters, uh, there was a couple of cops and shit, and just dudes from the gym and stuff, right? So yeah. there was mostly gore. And then there was like four or five of us up on it. So every time I'd score, I, I would say, Chaka! And then I'd put my stick in the air, right? So they thought I was, they, they had no idea what I was saying. Yeah. So they started calling me Chak. And then one of them started calling me Chak Norris. Why? Because I, I play a little rough when I play, because I can't run. So I compensate by not being able to run by doing clutching and grabbing and stupid shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so. They started calling me Chuck Norris, and then everyone at the gym started calling me Chuck Norris, and that's it. So that's what they call you on 
um, when you play like hockey and whatnot in sports. But what does your wife call you? Uh, my wife usually calls me Kota Ganjar. Um, uh, Kamina? Kamina? Kamina's in there sometimes. Uh, Aba haram. God. No, she doesn't say that. Useless. I get useless sometimes. How about kutta? Kutte di, kutte di pus. No, I don't get the pooch. I get just the kutta. Yeah. And the pooch is getting carried away. At that point, I think I get offended. Listen, um, I just want to give you like um, respect for stop drinking. I know it's not an easy thing to do. Yeah, and, I'm on day... Uh, um, like, I, I cut down a lot around a year ago, which is great because it really makes it easier to do now. But I think I'm on day 14 now or 13. Uh, and that's not easy to do, especially when, you know, people are locked in their homes still, even though it's stage two at, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, look behind me right there. Look at all those bottles in that bar. Yeah, it must not be easy. And, you know, for all the people out there that are struggling with, uh, you know, is it alcoholism? Any type of addiction, man. You can yeah. do it. You can kick it, man. And yeah. It can help. Yeah. And, Raj, but like there, there's agencies out there that, that are designed to help you out, man. People think they can't get over stuff. I've seen people uh, that were alcoholics. I've seen people that were addicted to drugs, and I've seen them kick it. So it's doable, man. And, and also, like, a lot I of people that are... The people that are going through anxiety right now and you know like a lot there's a lot of suicides that you know uh that are happening in the world uh because of what's happening with the COVID 19. um <clears throat> reach out to your friends and, and for those people that you know feel like you know they don't have anybody you know I mean, you should share your story and just you know you don't have to suffer in silence because there's people yeah, there that do of, care about you any of our listeners want to shoot the shit man message me man yeah. Message Raj. We're yeah. always open. I, I have so many listeners that message us. Some, I've made friends with so many cool people like uh, Apra, Pardeep, Sangera, yeah. right? Yeah. And so many other cool dudes. So, yeah, yeah. man, message yeah. us. And you know what? If you're a girl, don't, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, reach, girl, reach, reach out. <laughs> yeah. Reach out. Reach out to us. You know, we, we've been through anxiety. Um, and, and, uh, we understand what it's like. So don't, don't think that, you know, you guys can't reach out. We will respond to as many people, you know, as yeah. possible, whoever needs I help. help you the help you need, man. Yeah. Just, and, and we'll direct you. Don't try to bury it in, in a bottle or drugs or anything. Cause you know what that does? It just makes it work. It just makes so, it like worse. What I, what, what I would, you know, suggest is, you know what, make yourself happy. You know, my wife at the back of the just heard me say that the girls can't DM me. She said, if they do it for a day or two, I don't mind. As long as if it's not like at 3 a.m. in the morning, like how it usually is for Sachin, um, yeah. if you guys can just, you know, if, you, if, if it's, you know, not too early in the morning and not too late at night, I think yeah. it, it's, 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 it's good for his relationship right now because, you know, let's, let's not forget, you know, Sachin is in year one of his marriage, and this is the most yeah. important time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And is there is there a pool going on right now? Like an over under? There might be. There might be. I just I don't know what the odds, uh, the Vegas odds are. I just I haven't inquired, but there is a pool going on. Such an all I gotta say to you is just wait a year. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> You know, I just like just help me out. I got money ready, just another year, baby. You know, All let right, the court watch, open up. <laughs> Let's wrap up, man. I gotta watch a movie. There's a movie on Netflix that I gotta check out right now. Hey, eh? I got I wrap up. I gotta watch a movie. There's a movie on Netflix. Yeah, um, I'll wrap up right now, but that's between my wife and I. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Um, I just want to say think this was a so good one. I think Darsh won't ban this one. Yeah. And in closing, I just want to say that uh, I know it's been a little while since we've been on, but uh, you know we just had a, we had a couple things sorted. I mean, you know, Sachin with you know the whole drinking thing. You know, he's he's doing good. I know. Yeah, I was I was kids. going through some shit, and uh, I couldn't. I wasn't in shape to record. 
everybody's going and such as wife right now is um, you know she's about to pull the plug and I'm not talking about on the relationship so I just want to say thank you we'll see you guys next week and that's it all right love y'all I gotta go the movie's about to get started bye gang gang <laughs>